S. Veters. Tis I, Mike Martins, your handheld junkie. And today, man, I got a really good find when I went to Toronto. Went to Toronto, hunted down a couple of game stores, quite a few game stores actually, and found some good PS Vita pickups. This is part one. I got quite a few games and I want to give you guys some really good um, examples of the games so you guys can see what they look like. So here it is, part one of my PS Vita find, hunting stores in Toronto. All right, guys, let's kick this off. Akira's Beat. Discount bin, $19.99 in the game store. Apparently, it's got some pretty cool music while you're battling in dungeons. And let's look at the back. Here's a little uh, clip to the left here. Endless Adventure. An ignamic pink cape stranger has created a temporal loop that threatens your peaceful Ayuko lifestyle. Twisted Mystery. Explore details recreation of Japan's quirky electric town to uncover fantasies made manifest. Interesting. Collect and customize. Power up each character's weapon up 100 plus. Trading cards and fight to beat the music. Fight to the beat of the music. Wow. Okay, I'm looking forward to this. Kind of kind of reminds me of Persona. Restore normalcy. Is that even normalcy? Is that even English? Anyways, your ragtag group must save their home by eliminating monsters in a variety of surreal delusional escapes. Delusional escapes. I don't even think that's a real word either. But anyways, it doesn't really matter. This is Akira's beat. Akiba's beat. There's a sample to your left. Let's move on. Found that for $9.99. Child of Light by Ubisoft. Beware of the night. Embark on the fantastic journey and defeat the Dark Queen and save the kingdom of Limeru. There's a bunch of other articles. Uh, uh, Cuidado con la oscuridad. Say it in Spanish. I can read Spanish. So that's it right there. Child of Light. Let's move on to the next find. It's a really good one, actually. I'm kind of happy I found this. Just making sure it's in there. It was really cheap. Mortal Kombat! Don't need too much explanation on Mortal Kombat, especially if you play the arcade. The deadliest tournament in the palm of your hand. Oh, definitely something I'm very excited to play. Spend a couple of hours playing this and doing a proper review for you guys. Maybe a couple of days giving every character a try. Seeing if I could clear it on really hard is always a challenge in these kind of games. I love it. I love it. I love it. Mortal Kombat. I picked this puppy up for $24.99 and it is used, of course. Ultra Despair Girls, Danganaropa, another episode. So this one was twenty four ninety nine in the discount bin too. In another store I found in downtown Toronto, Beyond Hope lies absolute despair. So again, it's like your typical type of Persona type, dungeon hunting type ish game and finding things and molding things and mending things and creating weapons and blah blah blah. Use eight different. Ammon types to escape the city. Taste, hope, and despair through... I can barely see that. Anonymous electrodes and innovative gameplay. And Kamala's wit and Galdada's jacks. I don't I didn't even read that properly. To obliterate the Mukabas. Solve the puzzles and discover hidden collectibles throughout the city town. Sorry, guys. I'm getting old and I can barely see the writing on the back of that. Sorry about that, but that's what it is here. Most importantly, here's your um, sample to the left of the game. That's what the game looks like. I picked this one up again for $24.99 in the used bin in another store. Diskia 4. Oh, this game is so popular. This is the PSP. It's got so many different versions for it. Uh, a promise should have never go unfulfilled, even if it means to go back in time to keep it. So I'm looking very forward to play this. I've played, I think, 1 and 2 way back on the PSP. I couldn't even remember if it was the PSP I played it on. I, I, I can't remember, guys. But here's a little um, sample to your left of what it looks like. This was actually $19.99. Again, it's used. 
I actually found this on Craigslist for nineteen ninety nine. So I met met up with the person and paid him twenty bucks for it. So the scale four for the PS Vita, really happy. Stranger of Sword City, very very sealed. Uh, nineteen ninety nine. I paid for this. Choose your allies in a city of strangers. Let's see if I can read the small writing. It's really small. Test your test your metal with the unique ambush system. Rise above friends and strangers in the leaderboards. Choose your allies carefully and overcome the dangers in the dungeons. So it's another type of dungeon exploration type fun Japanese JRPG type game. Looks pretty good. Kind of happy. Very happy to get this one. And it's still sealed. Last but not least, guys, this is the one that you got to stand for. This one needs a... a, a I found this sealed. Wise. Eight. Lambrosa of the Dam. Danma. I can't even read. I can't even tell what that is. But it's a wise game. And it's a PS Vita. And it's sealed. What? The ultimate action RPG begins in the Isle of Serena. Intense combat. Mythical tale begins. Build a village. I am so looking forward to play this, guys. I'm going to take this on a vacation with me or a long flight. Because this baby deserves some good dedication and time on my downtime. Very happy with this wise uh, uh, game. I did pay $40 for it, $39.99. It is sealed. That was one of the most expensive ones in this pot. Let me know how I did, guys, with these games. Comment below. I'd like to know your, your, your feedback on the if you're a Vita fan. PS Vita, man, short-lived system. It had the potential to, to rock out even more games than it, than it did. But I'm very happy to find these in Toronto, uh, game hunting at different stores. Comment below. Let me know. Hey, this is Mike Martins from The Handheld Junkie. Please like, subscribe, and share this video to support our transmission. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate the support. Look forward to reading your comments below. And comment below if there's a specific handheld game you want me to review. Thanks for watching.